Hi, I'm Benjamin Grossoff, and I'm going to show and tell you about how Ergo uh, can be used for financial regulatory compliance and risk management. Coherent knowledge has brought to commercialization a fundamentally new kind of logic and rule-based artificial intelligence software platform for advanced analytics. It provides reasoning that's much more flexible and deeper than previous techniques and combines that tightly with natural language processing. Uh, it's useful for many kinds of things. A common theme in terms of the business benefits it provides are radical improvements in accuracy or competence, uh, cost, agility, and transparency. And those all apply in this particular realm of financial regulatory uh, compliance, um, but also apply in many other areas within financial and to many other domains as well. The company offers uh, a product called Ergo uh, and professional services around that software for developing custom solutions. The product uh, provides a runtime reasoning engine and uh, an environment for developing executable knowledge bases that are embedded into overall applications, typically in enterprise settings. Our founder team is world-class and unmatched in the industry. It's created many of the leading logic systems and industry standards, and has decades of experience in applying logic systems to financial, regulatory and policy, and other domains. Michael Kiefer, our principal engineer, is a professor at Stony Brook and has won several test of time awards in research and databases, rules and reasoning, um, essentially mini Nobels in computer science. Terry Swift has one of been one of the prime instigators and has co-led development of a mission critical rule system at US Customs and Border Patrol that tracks and does uh, compliance checking for most of the goods going in and out of the United States. Um, I was previously a professor at MIT in the Sloan School of Management and a principal investigator there for DARPA. I also ran about a third of the predecessor of the Allen Institute for Artificial Intelligence uh, for Paul Allen, co-founder of Microsoft. And uh, earlier uh, at IBM was project leader responsible for two released products that were forerunners of the type of technology that Coherent has commercialized. Paul Fodor, our senior engineer, is a professor at Stony Brook also and a former member of the IBM Watson team. Janine Bloomfield did data science at Yale and the US Forest Service, and then was senior scientist for global climate change at one of the top environmental nonprofits uh, in the world. Um, <clears throat> regulatory compliance is associated typically with surrounding policies that are specific to a particular financial institution and uh, involve uh, operationalizing the regs. Um, a key challenge is the complexity of regs and such policies and uh, the ever-growing volume of them. New ones are getting issued all the time by the Fed and these policies by the financial institutions themselves. Current methods, unfortunately, are uh, previous to Ergo, quite expensive, unwieldy, slow and costly to update, um, often six months to get new reg implemented, and with uh, often very high rates of inaccuracy, in particular very high rates of false positives, so many compliance alerts not corresponding to violations and then having to be checked by hand. And that was what we found in our case study, um, false positive rates often exceeded 99%, uh, whereas our approach is extremely accurate with accuracy, not inaccuracy, of over 99%. And the uh, current methods often give black box answers, as is typical in software, and yet a lot of the point in compliance is to be able to trust what's going on. And key is the ability to explain, give an audit trail, and be able to explain in a way that's understandable, not just to programmers. Ergo's approach to analytics enables one to capture and represent the knowledge in executable form um, as deeply in terms of their substance as is needed or wanted. And then reasoning also is deep with uh, very often multiple steps of reasoning through uh, rules in the particular type that Coherent uses, which are much more powerful than previous rule-based techniques. Um, this enables very high accuracy 
Um, and every answer comes with an explanation, a full explanation, which can be made understandable to people who are not trained in programming or logic. Um, so a radical increase in transparency, and we'll see that in the demo. Um, overall, this makes for much greater cost effectiveness and agility, both operationally and strategically, because there's much shorter elapsed time and lower amount of uh, labor and skill um, to implement the regs and the uh, compliance and the related policies. And this applies in many other realms besides uh, regulations as well. Um, this increases the scope of automation because previous methods often $1,000 and up per sentence from a reg if they could do it at all. And often they couldn't do it at all and with the inaccuracy often leaving a lot of work to be done manually by people. Um, in particular, uh, this approach makes it much easier to modify the uh, regs and policies as uh, implemented and that enables one to easily customize the particular geographic or business units needs, for example, comes right away with what if analysis and hypothetical capabilities and overall much greater degree of reusability because this stuff is more transparent and more recombinable and it integrates well into overall enterprise environments in several ways as well. We'll cover that a little bit later. <clears throat> the uh, case study that we did was under the auspices of the Enterprise Data Management Council, a leading financial IT industry consortium. It was a very successful and touted pilot by them. It included us as technical lead, Wells Fargo as the customer, um, SRI International, also a technology supplier, and as a design uh, input as well, participant, um, an academic GRC center in Ireland that itself uh, is a consortium, including a number of industry sponsors. Um, the participants in EDM Council um, said, if you could do Regulation W from the Fed, that would be a good representative case. It had been recently issued uh, in the aftermath of Dodd-Frank uh, when we began this study, and banks were struggling to implement that. Many are still uh, struggling to do so. Um, there are three key aspects that need to be answered. Um, is a transaction between a bank and what's deemed to be an affiliate as a counterparty in that transaction? Now, the affiliate notion in the reg is much more complicated than usual and involves uh, thresholds such as 5 or 25% of um, equity or voting, uh, other voting control, directors, and is through a relationship such as advisory, uh, not just um, uh, transaction or owner, not just control uh, type of relationships. Um, also, uh, it only applies to certain types of transactions that uh, involve um, the bank assuming risk from the counterparty. The reg is in, in designed to um, uh, limit the risk to the financial system as a whole as well as to each bank. Um, uh, so uh, risk assumption might be from extending a loan, purchasing an asset that's not marked to market, issuing a letter of credit, and the amounts of transactions permitted are uh, and the reporting are based uh, in part on the percentage of the bank's capital exposed to certain categories of transactions. So we see here on the right some of the a, a uh, an example of one of the the documents that come in English from the Fed that then have to be implemented by each uh, financial institution to do compliance. And there are various conditions uh, here. This was the bit about uh, the affiliate relationships. Now, Ergo makes it much easier to encode these by enabling one to have sentences that are executable um, that are largely English but have some uh, logical uh, bits of syntax mixed in with them and correspond to very precise and principled uh, logical statements and content. Um, so we see uh, the colon dash here that separates the then part of an if then from the if part of an if then. So in the second half of the slide, um, we have a particular executable sentence that overall says uh, uh, the individual affiliate threshold for transaction under the reg by a particular bank with a particular counterparty is a particular amount. Question mark in the blue indicates a logical variable here. Um, if, that's the colon dash, the counterparty is deemed to be an affiliate of the bank under the reg, the bank has a certain amount of uh, capital, which is called capital stock and surplus under the reg, and the threshold percentage for an individual affiliate is a particular percentage, and the amount is the capital multiplied by the percentage. Okay, so next let's take a look at an example of the kind of reasoning that 
uh, can be done using this approach. We see here uh, a UI screen associated with talking directly to the Ergo Reasoner. This is useful during development, but in typical application operation usage, um, uh, APIs would hit the Reasoner or um, you know, automated fashion uh, in support of UIs that are application specific. So it would be embedded uh, within an application overall. So we see here um, a particular query, which transactions are prohibited by the reg, which proposed ones? Uh, show their bank, the company, and the amount. We execute the query, and we get, oh, there is a particular transaction uh, that's prohibited. They, they typically are, are, uh, might be handled one at a time in streaming fashion, real time during the day, not just end of the day, the way a lot of the current techniques do. And what we can do for every answer generated by this technology, we can ask why. So here we right click on this answer and up comes an explanation window. And we see here um, that uh, the reg was uh, prohibited the transaction because the uh, transaction is indeed covered by the reg. Uh, there's a limit of 10 mil and the, the amount of 23 mil and the transaction was greater than the limit of 10 mil. Now what we can do rather than drowning in info is drill down here. We're being presented with a, a top level summary but we can select which aspects to drill down into. So here um, we're interested, okay, why is, first of all, why is this a covered transaction? Oh, well, Maui Sunset was deemed to be an affiliate under the reg, and it's a loan type transaction. Why was it deemed to be an affiliate? We can drill down on that. Oh, because it was advised by Hawaii Bank, who is an affiliate of Pacific Bank. But why was Hawaii Bank deemed to be an affiliate? Oh, there's common control. Why is that? Drilling down further, we see they're both controlled by America's Bank because each is a subsidiary. So, okay, we've satisfied our curiosity on that. We can go and, and drill down now into where did the limit of 10 million amount come from? Well, there's an aggregated affiliates limit of 10, an individual affiliate limit of 250, and the overall, as you'd expect, is the tighter of the two. But where did the tighter limit, 10 million, come from? Um, oh, well, there was previous covered transactions that in aggregate totaled 490 mil. Um, subtracting the 490 from the 500 is how we get the 10. But where did the 500 come from? Oh, the capital of the bank is 2,500 million and multiplying that by 20% um, got the, uh, was how the 500 was calculated. So instead of this being a cryptic, um, this is actually presented in English and Compliance officers uh, in this pilot were able to understand this with confidence. Okay, so let's go back and uh, finish up the presentation. Uh, just want to wind up and make a few more points. So we saw that the regs and related uh, info were able to be uh, encoded as semantic sentences in this human machine logic that uh, fully and robustly automated the runtime decisions of related querying with full explanations, understandable by non-IT trained people, and that constitutes an electronic audit trail. It can have links back to source documents such as from the reg or policy manuals uh, that are specific to an institution. We weren't able to show due to limited time. The, this approach is very, very good, much better than previous approaches at handling exceptions and special cases and other cases of conflict. And it extends to handle um, uh, all the uh, required aspects of enterprise integration at the uh, data and system level. Um, in particular, it works with pretty much any type of existing data source in an enterprise environment, does so at scale, able to uh, conclude millions of sentences on a single processor node. Um, uh, it handles uh, data from uh, relational databases or spreadsheets, but also from newer fangal kind of database and semantic technologies such as RDFL and knowledge graphs, for results from machine learning and statistical analysis and probabilistic engines, data sitting behind domain application and legacy middleware, uh, older kinds of business rules, all can be grist for Ergo's mill depicted here with a funnel to produce its answers, decisions, alerts, explanations, and other kinds of views. Thank you very much.